Wake up, Isaac. We got we got work to do. Welcome back to Dead Space 3. I'm excited. I've got guests with me again. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm so <laughs> Introduce yourself, guys. I didn't That's think I'd need to say that. <laughs> Just as you said that, a cat jumped into my lap and yanked the headphones out of my ears. <laughs> Damn it. Hi, I'm Blind Sally. <laughs> and I'm Nine Gear Crow. Alright. Isaac is not making friends on the on the Eudora here. He and Carver are worst enemies. Lovely. And he's the co-op partner, too, so it's good that they don't like each other and have bad chemistry. <laughs> Is this going to be like one of those things where they dislike each other over the course of like the action movie, but by the end of it, they you know, start to develop a begrudging respect for each other? It is unfortunately like that. This is my jam. So Nine Gear Crow, what's what's your uh, experience with Dead Space as a series? Please tell us, as if we don't already know. <laughs> uh, virtually nothing. Nice. So if you had to sum up uh, the first two games for us to explain where we are right now, uh, what would it be? Also okay. having not seen the first video. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. Isaac Clark, he's a guy, he works in space, he wears a really stupid looking helmet, then stuff blows up and Cthulhu happens. Now we're in the third game for some reason. Damn, man. That was pretty accurate. Am I right? Um, you actually, you made a mistake there, Crow, it's actually a fucking sweet helmet. <laughs> yeah, the helmet's pretty, the helmet's pretty cool, but the rest was spot on. Good job. Sweet. <laughs> so, uh, that's basically all you need to know. Okay, so... Just letting everyone know now, I'm taking over this LP from C. Jacobs, so... Hey, welcome to Let's oh, Play Dead Space okay. 3! <laughs> yeah, have fun. I'll just sit back. <laughs> you get to have White Knight Chronicles now. Enjoy. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Take it away! <laughs> oh, man. We gotta stop this marker epidemic, guys. It's breaking out like hives. Oh my, my goodness, we're going to an uncharted planet? That's right, we're going to an uncharted planet. Nolan North is going to be there, and it's going to be wonderful. Sweet. There was a sweet, like, rock climbing action segment in the last video. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is what hyperspace looks like. Why does he walk all hunched over like that anyway? Like, it, Yeah, he's being in that suit for the whole first game. Just kind of <laughs> left him with a bad back. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I, I when see he doesn't do, like, in his... The... Sorry. Well, when he doesn't do like his daily chiropractor exercises, it, you know, it leaves him a little hunched over. Right. That thing on the back of his jacket—that's a mechanical spine holding him together. Without <laughs> it, he would fall apart. Yeah, it's it's like a jack when you're jacking up a car, you know, to put on new tires. <laughs> Goodness. I, I was gonna say I I see this a lot in third-person shooters. The uh, main characters always seem hunched over. They never stand up straight unless it's a cutscene. Mm, nope. Well, Isaac Isaac stands up straight if you let him stand still for a little bit. Like the way he's walking around, it's almost. Oh, uh, something's happening, isn't it? Yeah, some important. That's no moon. That's, that isn't a, that's no moon, it's a, oh, a giant chunk of a space station. Oh, this is too real for me. I know, this is the future, man. This is what our future looks like. More like a graveyard. Glad they're still making jokes, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Junkyard? More like a graveyard? Good one, man. <laughs> they all have a good laugh. You serious? You'd be over 200 years old. So, is the starship bobbing around right now, or is that just Isaac's POV that's just going up and down and up and down? Like, that's the ship, I think. Yeah. Oh God, it it is the ship. Oh, now I now that I noticed that it's making me seasick, man. Spa yeah. Space sick. Like, who the hell is piloting this damn thing? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, uh. oh! Oh God, damn it! That is funny. Uh. Oh, now there ten. There are ten kinds of fuck. Maybe eleven kinds of fuck. I think it was probably like bring your kid to work day and someone's letting their son fly the ship. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm really regretting it right about now. Yeah. All right. Doubly so because yeah, doubly so because that poor kid just got sucked out into space right now. 
Uh, okay. Here, have this thing. I don't know what it is, but take it. Help, help that'll be helpful. He's gonna shoot the fire out, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's gonna he's gonna fight fire with fire, literally. Space fire. Oh man, we gotta get a suit with a helmet, a, a not stupid looking helmet. So we yeah, we gotta cool. run for it, man. <laughs> oh, his awkward hunched over run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If if you don't run here, the ship explodes and you die. Like the like you you are in control of Isaac's destiny at this point. You're kidding, right? No, they make you run, and they even oh, have Jesus. like predetermined stumble points too. Oh, it's like that terrible bit at the beginning of Halo Four. Oh no. That part's really funny in co-op, too, because the co-op partner has to run down the hallway with you, so you're, like, stumbling into each other, and <laughs> oh, no. just, it's just like a bit of slapstick comedy, you know, to lighten the mood. I guess it's supposed to, like, what, reinforce the fact that these two hate each other, then? I guess so, yeah. It's a team-building moment. Yeah, get out of my way, loser. <laughs> Move it, jerkwad. <laughs> it's my suit. Oh, the There's helmet, the helmet, no! Get it, oh, Isaac! No. Get the helmet! Oh, uh, are we gonna get a zero-G segment? That's right, we just got thrust into zero gravity. Oh, it's go time now. I did enjoy the space segments in the first game quite a bit. Yeah, the, the zero-gravity segments in Dead Space, they're, they're really cool. You got physics objects flying all over the place and 360 movement in this one, man. I'm guessing by your tone there, that's not the case in this one. No, it's totally the case in this one. The zero-g stuff is one of the things they didn't fuck up horribly in this game. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna... this is not gonna go well. Boy, howdy, you sure said it, Isaac. Darn it, I have to hold on to my weapon. I, I, I only have two hands. <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. So the Space Harrier segments are back. Well, I mean, after... after after two games of uh, like crazy monsters, I think that's he's got his a pri priority straight. Like, okay, you're being blasted out of space. Like, you want to hang on to whatever I don't know brick thing with jetpacks that was he's chasing. <laughs> um, but like, you're not gonna drop your gun because what if a necromorph pops out? That is very true. I I guess I hadn't thought about that. Isaac Isaac is a man of thought. He's a man of action. I would not survive in the dead space world. Either that, or Michael Altman was guiding his actions. Altman be praised. Altman be praised. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll, when I post the first video, you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, you, you control with Wasp. You can, you can shoot, and... But that's not important anymore, because it's over now. Is there ever going to be another Space Harrier segment? Oh, several actually, but not until later. Okay. Okay. There we go. They got control of the brick, so it's okay. We're all right. We survived. The Roanoke. Why would you name your ship the Roanoke? That's like naming yeah. it the Titanic Two. The they're really not subtle. No, my my favorite tempting fate name was in the movie Sunshine. They're flying yeah, a ship into the Icarus. sun, and they named it... No, not just Icarus, Icarus 2, because they lost the first Icarus. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, collectibles uh, in space. There yay. are so many collectibles in space in this game. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Because they glow, but they glow really, really dimly. Yeah, it's just like a flash, like an Uncharted. Yep. Right. I'll see if I can get inside. And like Uncharted, I assume they're useless and don't actually do anything. Actually, if you collect all of them, you unlock a special suit. Uh, but we're not gonna see it because you can't collect all of the stuff in single player. Which is oh, fucking is bullshit, it, and I hate it. Is it Commander Shepard's suit? No, Commander Shepard's suit's coming later. I remember having a really easy time beating Mass- or, I should say, Dead Space 1 with Commander Shepard's suit. Yep. You get plot armor. Even more plot armor. <laughs> I think there was like an Xbox 360 suit as well. They had some pretty ridiculous suits. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
What did that say? Uh, I think it says I think it says all is lost, which is accurate. It said no soliciting. Lovely. Because that's exactly what you want to see when you wander into a derelict starship like this. It's a derelict starship called Roanoke. It's thematic. <laughs> called the Roanoke. <laughs> Uh, I guess I hadn't thought about how stupid the name is until now. Man, what a dumb name for a spaceship. <laughs> they really might have called it, like, the USG Lost in Space. One word. Yeah. Why am I thinking, like, there was just some dumbass on, like, the Starship Design Board. They were, like, desperate for a name, so they just, like... Wikipedia, like, I don't know, or Space Wikipedia, like a list of names, and like, Roanoke was right up at the top, and they didn't have know the historical context, so they were like, let's go with that, that sounds awesome! Oh yeah. man, yeah, the, the, the Unitologists covered up the real history of the Roanoke. Damn it, Altman Michael praised. Altman. Altman be praised, I guess. So you can't just interact with the doors on this space station because the power's off. We have to, uh, you have to use our telekinesis to open them, which is really just an it's just an inconvenience. It's just kind of annoying. Sometimes life throws hurdles our way. Sometimes they are great, sometimes they are small. But the light of Michael Altman will guide us. Okay, so let me get this straight. There, there's space monsters, telekinesis. You're both worshiping Robert Altman. Have I been conned into joining a cult by chance? No, uh, we're we're not going to be joining the cult until later in the game. <laughs> have you have you heard the good word of unitology? Because if you want to hear the good word about unitology, boy howdy. Have I got word for you, boy howdy. So we've we've interacted with our first bench here, and I think it's going to try and give me the tutorial. I think. I like. Nope, like, it skipped it. The, Sweet. The OS pops up and it says bench. Welcome to bench. <laughs> Powered by Microsoft. This is our weapon crafting system. Uh, oh, for having a Dead game. Space 2 save, I unlocked a special blue plasma cutter. So I'm going to be using that because it looks cooler. Ouch. So weapon crafting in this game is really, it's really expansive and it's really cool. Every gun has a frame and from that frame you can put on an upper and lower tool which you can then customize with tips that make them fire different shit. Like I made like a rivet gun just now. I, I turned our submachine gun into a submachine rivet gun, which is stupid, but effective. That's actually pretty awesome, and one of the things that really intrigued me about Dead Space 3. Yeah, dude, it's fucking great. And why, like, I skipped Dead Space 2, but I kind of want to play Dead Space 3. <laughs> yeah, cool unfortunately, weapon. unfortunately, the weapon crafting is limited by the parts and resources you have. So, and we won't be able to make, like, crazy, insane OP guns until a little bit later. Oh, Well, that's, that's to be expected. Yeah, I know, it's sad. <laughs> Balance, what's that? <laughs> so, in terms of weapon crafting, like, how far does it go into, like, Dead Rising territory near the end? Um, you, well, we can make our weapons be, like, elemental. <laughs> we'll okay. be doing that later on. We can't, like, attach, like... Well, we can fire saw blades, I guess. That's Lightning kind of bolt. like Dead Rising. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Oh, that's that's a lot of jelly on the floor. Um, okay. They had a hard time making breakfast this morning. Roanoke. The ship's name is Roanoke. <laughs> I again, I don't that means nothing to me. I don't I mean, it could just be a name. It doesn't have to mean something with all this blood. You mean the crew didn't mysteriously disappear? Uh-oh. Well, no, they didn't disappear. They turned into zombies. Space zombies. Let's not forget that part. Space zombies. Oh, oh no. Space zombies is a derogatory term. The proper term is necromorph. I'm sorry. I, I will respect their pronouns in the future. I'm a real bad shot with Kinesis, by the way. <laughs> Through the marker, we will all become immortal. Well, not yet. That's not till later. 
fun things to come in Dead Space, like being killed by zombies. Sentient obelisks. That's right, sentient obelisks. Fuck me, I have joined a cult, haven't I? You, yeah, you have. It's too late now. You're, you're part of this Let's Play. <laughs> so, uh, the, thankfully, we don't have to babysit the other plot characters. They can take care of themselves. What am I doing here? What are you I doing? I don't remember here? what I'm doing. You're screwing with settings. Oh, right. The music in this game is really fucking loud, so I had to turn up the voices. I I just want to I just want to say I hate the audio mixing in this game. It's so goddamn bad. The guns and the necromorphs drown out anything else, and I have to make the volume quieter whenever any fighting is going on, which is really annoying. Ooh, did you see that dodge? There's our stasis beam, so there's like magic stasis beams too, bro. Wow. That's right. The the stasis does have a lore explanation, but I forget what it is right now. I think it's like it it magnetizes electrons or something. I don't remember. Some about dark matter, I guess. I don't know. You can also curb stomp these uh, these things. And curb stomping is probably the uh, best ability in this game. You you curb stomp yeah. them and ammo pops out. <laughs> All would be praised. Oh, oh, geez. What was that thing? Oh, man. It looked, Ominous. Like, it looked like everything else you were fighting so far, anyway. It did, yeah. Oh, I knocked that thing's head off. No, me. I'm the best at video games. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that it was coming at you like a kid on a playground, like, I'm just going to walk forward swinging my arms. If you get in the way, that's your fault. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. If you if you shoot off a necromorph's head, usually it will slow down, but it won't die. Like headshots are not instantly lethal. That's why you have to stomp off its limbs. Ugh. It just started like flailing and just going in a straight line. Mm-hmm. I mean it had it had no idea where to go, you know? It was like if I keep walking forward I may hit something. There's always a chance. These guys are optimistic. <laughs> they are. You know, they don't, they don't let a little thing like losing their heads get them down. They're going to keep trying. No, of course not. Keep trying till you can't try. That was pretty cool. You, you picked up an ammo crate, threw it at the thing, killed it, and then took the ammo out of it after the fact. Fire! Fire! Hell yeah, I did. Welcome to video games. We got live people here. For the moment, anyway. I hope those fans don't start. They're recreating the end scene in Aliens, it sounds like. Oh, hey there. Aliens was amazing. Oh, God. You know what I liked? What? I really liked that part of the thing where, like, a dog took was taken over by the thing. And, like, it had, like, tentacles and shit. I was about to say, that looks exactly like the dog from the thing. Yeah, dude. So also they can like shoot like thorny poison spikes at us, so let's try not to get hit by those. Thankfully we have the power of 360 degree movement on our side. We're not gonna encounter a thing that technically has two faces, are we? Not... I'm not gonna answer that question. Okay. Because <laughs> I was gonna say, it's sad that we've technically encountered a two-faced monstrosity in our kill zone LP, but yet it hasn't shown up here in Dead Space. <laughs> Well, that, that's that's uh, more due to bad video games than anything. <laughs> <laughs> Said as we're commenting on a Dead Space 3 LP. No, yeah, the, bad video games, you're in the right spot, man. <laughs> Dead Space 3 looks fun. Norton, Not yeah. particularly yeah, scary, here. but fun. Right, I think that's holding them for now. Oh yeah, it's it's a fun game. It's yeah, just the, uh, coming from directly above me. the gameplay is basically all it has going <laughs> for it. <laughs> it should unlock the crossover for you. Ooh, is this a puzzle? Uh, uh no yes, this is a puzzle. I see an arrow. I'm guessing it has to go down. Um, yeah, I think you're right on that one. So, is the arrow an overlay, or was that actually a part of the structure of it? That's, that's a part of the machinery, yeah. Wow. I don't really... 
they designed it that way because I guess they figured that the people who would use it are too stupid, you know? <laughs> it's like it's like claymores, you know? They print they print this side towards enemy. On them. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, this thing was designed by the same people who named the goddamn ship the Roanoke, so you know, I, I guess it makes <laughs> well, sense. Well, that is true, yeah. They they have already set the standard for their own intelligence, I suppose. Oh my god, look at those backwards walking pants! It's my favorite enemy in the whole game, the backwards walking pants. How how do they even think? How do they breathe? They're pants. Pants with tentacles. Man. And they almost killed me too. A little bit pathetic. Describing video games to people, I was almost killed by a pair of backwards walking tentacle pants. <laughs> Yep. And I wasn't even in Japan when it happened. It was crazy. There are so many tentacles to almost get... Oh. Oop. That's not a nice noise. I was going to say, what screwed up visual novel were you playing by chance? <laughs> uh, the Dead Space visual novel. Yeah, actually. Uh, Michael Altman's Quest. <laughs> Michael Altman's Quest, yeah. Wonderful. Mm. <laughs> Man. Mm. Oh, no. Another wave of necromorphs summoned by the loud noises. Who could have guessed that that would happen? Shit. <laughs> oh god, it's got knives or axes. They're learning. Yeah, I don't know where they get the axes from. They've learned how to use tools. Y you see wasters using all kinds of shit in this game. Like, they use axes, screwdrivers, parts of other necromorphs, whatever they can get their hands on, I guess. That's pretty metal. What? That... That thing just hopped right by Isaac, and he didn't even care. The crossover just opened up. He's seen too much. Hey, if I had to wear a helmet that looked like that every day of my life, I wouldn't care about shit either, so... Well, fair enough, I guess. I mean, listen to how loud it just got. Are, like, now, are, are you saying that the helmet is so cool that uh, you wouldn't care, or are you trying to knock the helmet, Crow? This is important <laughs> now. <laughs> No, I, I just be numbed to everything, just from the all-encompassing helmetness of the helmet. <laughs> I, I'm not sure how to take that. I think that's fair. It looks kind of like a beetle, mm. a little bit. It's like a Power Ranger helmet. Yeah. I, th I think this helmet's kind of cool. It's This helmet is different than the rest of the suits, because when Isaac is in space, he's got a visor thing that comes down. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. We're about to meet the best character in the game, by the way. I Isaac's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Boobly. I mean, Ellie. <laughs> so is this like an ex-girlfriend from the second game? Because I thought the first girlfriend died. And wasn't it Nicole or something? Um, yeah. Ellie is, Ellie is the secondary protagonist from Dead Space 2. Isaac okay. meets her in his exploits, and then they escape the exploding space station together at the end. And uh, now she's wearing a slightly low-cut shirt. And making out with some other dude in front of Isaac. <sighs> Poor Isaac. Now my now my avatar on something awful makes sense. <laughs> Is Isaac going to be all weird and goony and creepy over it? No, actually! He doesn't give a single fuck, which is what I love about it. Look at him not giving a fuck. That's refreshing, actually. <laughs> it totally is. Thank goodness. We need to stop the marker. We picked the wrong series to LP, Sally. <laughs> uh, that seems to be a recurring theme. We cannot leave until we know what it says. Then let Isaac handle the translating. We're leaving. Oh, man. Well, thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see you next time. When, uh, we go to the Admiral's Quarters and find out what the fuck is going on on the Roanoke. Bye, guys. All them be praised. <laughs> Bye bye